Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your The Young and the Wrestler for April 6, 2017. Let's jump on into it, shall we? So we finally got what we wanted. Well, sort of, kind of, not really, but some kind of we did. Kevin still looked like a dumbass. Chloe finally admitted now that she ain't got off her chest. Good luck trying to get that bitch to confess anything else, cause she gonna deny, 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 deny. So let's go ahead and get the simple shit on out the way first, shall we? I guess Victoria and Billy getting back together. Don't know, don't care. Lost respect for both of them. Don't give too far, but I decide I'm talking to them. I guess they getting back together. Reed and join them together and. Now he getting real live music classes, I guess. So now I guess his birthday coming up or whatever that was, as he said. Um, I know that this thing need to get a car, but you know what? I don't really want a car. Basically, he doing what all the other rich kids don't want. Basically, like he gonna get a car for his birthday or what? And I guess that way to come down to it. Guess I would it come down to it about a car and something else. He said, I wasn't written. Then we get the Ashley and, no, Phyllis and Ravi. Ravi told um, Phyllis the great news that um, Ashley taking him to New York with him or with her. And that he going to have the outfits and blah, blah, blah. And I guess... Robert don't give it too much pressure. Ashley knows she need this dick and want this dick, but she's scared too too she too scared and too shy to take it. So Robert, you might have to wind her up and dine her and do whatever you can to get in Ashley pants. Cause I look like it ain't gonna be an easy journey for you just to get in Ashley bed. Cause I look like she got that shit on the wall. Got a thousand walls up there and got about five locks on each damn down. So you might want to knock them locks down or bolt cut them locks down or whatever you got to do just to get in Ashley bed. Cause you ain't got no easy journey when it come to her. So now let's get to the good shit. So we get the, um, Chloe and Kevin wedding day to get showing up. Gloria there, she <laughs> still being a hard ass, not here for the wedding, but she showed up, she coming in, she kissed him, hey, how's it going, and I got the car, I got the car running in case she wanted to go home. Yeah, my cabin wasn't feeling that and went down for that. Michael got in her ass about that, I tell her she can't be half of him, she can leave. Then we go back upstairs and we see Chloe and Chelsea up there talking after the rain shot. After Chloe found I mean, after Chelsea realized that Chloe best of the pays you for the dumb ass you are and you best of the deserve all that and more. Chelsea, I want to feel sorry for you, but I don't want to feel sorry for you. When somebody tell you some shit, you need to do some more hard investigating what you did. The only reason you got to the actual damn truth is because you were digging around being nosy and happened to find that ring. I don't know what Nick need to do. Do your smoke screen, do a little dance for you to prove that Chloe is not your friend. Chloe can act like a friend but ain't really no damn friend. But you sit up here letting this helper in your house, around your kids, touching your shit. All around out of memories, all around your happiness. And if you think back even harder than what you was thinking about the all them time about the cabin and all that, you think back harder. Wasn't she the bitch that was telling you the best to get over it, move on, put a period, forget about Adam, move on with your life, find somebody else? You don't remember all that though, but you remember all the little other stuff that leading up to her. Nick coming to you telling you about that damn rich and now crinkling as a crinch collider gun. Now all of a sudden you remember that. But if you go back farther, you'll see that you should have never let that bitch up in your house. But you let up in your house leading up to the wedding. Um, 
She doing all the stuff. She acting like she happy. No clothes up there talking to her mama. And up there getting herself ready that she ain't even noticed that. Chloe, I mean Chelsea up there crying, got tears in her eyes. Like she ain't know that something was wrong with Chelsea until Chelsea finally told her. Well, she didn't tell her shit. She played it off to that she got down to the wedding part. So, they did the something old, something new, something blue. Something old, something new, something blue. I think that's what it's called. Out the door and that, they go downstairs. Before we get to the wedding, we got Nick over there wanting the Sharon house that Chelsea making a horrible mistake and she wouldn't believe me and... Nah, I done messed up and I think I didn't lost Chelsea because she wouldn't listen to a word I'm saying. Basically, he feel like he got the, he defeated because he was trying his best to try to get the truth out of Chloe, but it didn't work. But what he don't know is that the truth is actually going to come out and when he find out, he going to realize how good he's going to feel to know that you were fucking right. Chelsea was fucking wrong. Chelsea got that egg all over her fucking face. So we get downstairs. They doing the wedding. Getting the flowers ready. Fast forward. We do the vows. Because I ain't going to make this video too goddamn long. It ain't really learned to be that long. So I ain't going to make it that long. So fast forward. We get to the wedding. They send their vows. Kevin say his vows. I mean, Kevin say his vows, Michael Hen, um, Michael Hen, Kevin, her rain, I mean, Chloe rain, Chloe say her vows, Chelsea hands Chloe to put on Adam, Fang Adam rain on Kevin finger, then after that, I don't know how you didn't notice that wasn't your ring. I don't know how you didn't put two and two together. It took you to look down at the fucking ring to realize that. Wait a minute, this ain't none of his ring. Then all the memories come back of you and Adam and what you did to that man. And you went kind of, you went to the damn ex screen with that bullshit. And then she dropped the ring, runs upstairs. Chelsea, um, somebody would go, Kevin would feel to go after her. She said, no, 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 I got to let me go deal with her. It probably because of the rain or something, or the vows or something. She made some kind of excuse about the rings or something. So they get upstairs, huh, Chelsea? Thank Chelsea, I think Chloe asked her, why would you do that? Or uh, I've got how I started or whatnot. But basically, though, Chelsea wanted the truth from her. Chelsea wanted to hear her say the words that, Bitch, you killed my husband. You a lying, murdering ass bitch, she said. Chelsea slapped her. Good job. I give you the slap. And you charging her. But you should have did more than charging slap, in my opinion. You should have did her the same way she did Adam and blow the Chelsea mission up on her ass. The same way she did Adam, the same way you should have did her ass. But I appreciate what you did there and you made her admit the fucking truth. After all this fucking time, I want to do she feel good or not of the truth out of her ass. So somehow they end up fighting after Chelsea got the truth out of her, after Chelsea slapped her and charged her. They end up fighting. Downstairs, we got Kevin worrying, waiting downstairs, wondering what's going on. They giving him sweet nothings, tell him nothing going on. She might have been the wedding must have been too much for her. So she went upstairs to fix her makeup and get herself together. Then she'll be back downstairs. I don't know, know what fucking bride ain't gonna run. I don't know what fucking bride in this United States come run, come leave a wedding. Run upstairs in a dress in heels. Run all the way up them goddamn stairs, including the stairs down there in the den. Run all the way up them fucking stairs and go running up the stairs to go free up, train up your face. I don't know what bitch in America gonna do that, but okay, Lauren, I guess. And then after that, Kevin got tired of waiting, so Father Todd said, I'll go up there. I'm used to dealing with stuff like this, so i go up there and i deal with this. So he went up there a few minutes later. You know Kevin couldn't help himself or control himself. He come running up there too. Knock at the door, ain't nobody answering. So they open the door, find Chelsea on the floor. Chloe going out the window, I guess. 
Yeah, we see this helper. She's driving in the car crying. So now she either fit to get away with this bullshit or she gone. I ain't even gonna speculate what's gonna happen. I'm about to read some more spoilers and see what's gonna happen beyond this point. Cause I didn't read up to this damn point. That's why I knew. That's why I started doing it this week. Cause I knew last week. Cause I knew the truth will finally fit to come out about damn time. Now I look like the bitch with the escape. I hope they ain't playing there for that bitch to escape. She need to be down like a rabbit dog. Just like she wanna add him down. She deserved to be down. Chelsea, I still don't feel sorry for your ass, though. This bitch killed your husband and you let her have you on the ground knocked out. So I don't feel sorry for you. When somebody tell your silly ass next time that I wouldn't trust this person, I bet you next time you'll think twice and think hard while they're coming at you like this, not defending the hoe that killed your damn husband and then screwed your fucking family. But okay, Chucks, I hope you enjoying yourself. I enjoy seeing that egg and shock on your face today. It made me all justin and it did me all types of good because I was sitting up there dying laughing at your silly ass. Anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.